Hey there guys, this is Gary from Gary's Touch and today I'm going to be going over some if statements and to do that I'm going to make a simple login system. First of all what we need is two text boxes. Let's see you have them right here. One down here and one here. And we need a button. Oh yeah, we need one more. And we need two labels. Right here. Call that one. Username. Copy paste. Password. Alright, and just for clarification, we'll just make one here up here called Login System. Get a bit larger, it's right here in the front. Let's make that 20. And then let's change the color a bit. Let's make it a. Let's see what we got. Let's make it an orange one. Right, double click the login button. Say if so what I'm going to write now is if these commands are true then it would execute a command that I'll write after so if the text in text box oh sorry in text box 1 equals gaui and the text in text box 2 equals 1 2 3 Alright, so where it says Gary is just going to be my username, and where it says 123 is the password. If this is true, then it will. Oh, sorry, we need to make one more thing. Right click in your solution explorer, right click your login system, add Windows form, and just call it form 2. It doesn't matter if there's anything in here, uh, but don't put anything in there. Next tutorial, we're going to put something in there, and it's going to be the spam bot. Just for fun. Alright, so if these if these two are true, then it will say open the form two, right? Form two dot show and to close itself as me dot hide. Alright, and to make the quit button work, it should be me dot close. It closes down the entire application. Like that. Alright, that should work. Gary, one, two, three, login. Perfect, works. Oh, one more thing. To make um, the words you write in the text box, right down here you can say use system password characters. So that's a true, then if you write something, alright, I can do that. Why? Oh, I have to stop the button. Of course. Please. Stop. Thank you. Alright, so if you change this to true and try running again, it would be like this. I mean, what do you think? Now it's um, hidden. And just test the uh, quit button. Works perfect. Alright, thanks for this time, and don't forget to watch next time. Well, I will be showing you how to make a spam bot in this form. So you can still use the same project. Save it. Alright? See ya.